musical instruments around the world. Most people learn how to play the guitar, the drums, the piano, or maybe the violin. But how many can play the dombra or the tin whistle? These two musical instruments became popular in the past in very different parts of the world, but they managed to survive through time. Let's learn a little more about them. The dombra. The dombra is a beautiful string instrument. It is called the Queen of Kazakh instruments. It's got a pear-shaped wooden body with a long neck and two strings. It is played by strumming each string individually with an occasional tap on the main surface of the instrument. The strings are traditionally made of sinew, but today nylon ones are used. The dombra is an instrument with a long history. Many Kazakh families have at least one person who can play it. It is usually played on its own or used to accompany traditional songs. It sounds great as part of a band too. Some bands even use electric dombras to create music. The tin whistle. The tin whistle is a traditional Irish wind instrument that looks like a small flute. It belongs to the flute family, which is the oldest musical instrument in the world. Today, it is made from a long, narrow brass tube with six holes and a plastic mouthpiece. People in Ireland have played the tin whistle since ancient times. It is still one of the most popular instruments in Irish traditional music today. It is also called the penny whistle because in the past, people used to play it in the streets for money. Today it is played by many musicians and in many styles of music. The tin whistle is a very simple musical instrument but a good player can make magical music on it. The theme song of the 1997 film Titanic features an Irish tin whistle. The dombra and the tin whistle are both cultural symbols for the people who play and listen to them.